Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another gameplay video. Today we're playing Hearts of Iron 4 as the Social States of Austria-Hungary. Before I continue on, I'd like to say that this, this 100 fucking subscriber special should be out soon. It's not going to be out the day that you're watching this. It may be out, um, well, sooner than later, anyway. I mean, it's taken a little bit longer for me to make it than I anticipated. <clears throat> considering I have a lot of shit to do and today is I just really don't have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot that's why this video is going to be uploaded a little bit later than it would have I apologize for that but uh, the the special it may be out within three days okay uh, that's the that's the time schedule I'd like to put out hopefully gosh you know what by the fucking time we get that 100 subscriber special out we're gonna have 200 subscribers that would be awesome, but it would also suck really bad because then I wouldn't, I wasn't able to get the special out in time. But I'll be able to get it out in time. Don't worry. Um, so expect it within the next three days, because I don't want to tell you like a specific day because somebody may have different days than me. Like you have, a, you're a day behind or a day forward. So I'll tell you within the next three days. But uh, anyway, let's start fucking playing this game. So we're playing as Social States of Austria-Hungary. In the last episode, we took these islands over Corsica and Sardinia with the might of our fucking submarines. <laughs> and we're actually going to bring them back so that they can merge with these six other submarines. I mean, how, how many are we making? <clears throat> let's see. We're making three light cruisers right now. And how many ships do we have? So this is 27 destroyers, 7 light cruisers, 5 heavy cruisers, and 4 battleships. Are we making a carrier right now? <clears throat> or are we making one more battleship? Um. Yeah, let's make a carrier. We'll make two carriers. We need chromium. God damn it. Okay, it's not. We don't, we don't need to trade away a whole lot. Soviet Union. You're, the, you're fucking amazing, Soviet Union. You have everything we need. Thank you. Okay, insufficient resources. Chromium, we got that taken care of. Low manpower. Um, service by requirement. We can do all adults serve. Oh, shit. Or we can do scraping the barrel. Eventually. All adults serve, maybe? Is that necessary right now? We're not actually attacking anything. We're going to stop recruiting. That's the thing. So whatever we're doing right now, we're going to stop it. So let's do all adults serve. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. How the fuck? Damn. Never mind. We can recruit as much as we fucking want. Alright, our national focus tree is all complete. We can't set a national focus. Holy fuck, man, that's a lot of fucking troops. We can stop with the paratroopers. And we'll just go right to these guys. These are modern tank divisions, am I, am I right? Yep, with mechanized. Alright. Cool shit. Okay. Now our next objective, I believe, is to invade England. And how we're going to do that, I'm not sure, because we're going to have to defeat the English Navy. But I don't know if I want to invade in southern England, because probably, it's probably more heavily defended than the north. So maybe what we can do is we can invade from up here over to like this port or this port and see if we can win by going from the north down. I think that's going to be my plan. I'm going to try to invade through Scotland and down into England. Alright, that's the plan. Can we do that right now? Probably not, but we will. These guys supplied well, yeah. Alright, we got 23 submarines. 
They're all like level fucking. A lot of them are level four. You guys can go. Well, go to the English Channel. Patrol. What the fuck? Did it click you. Go to the English Channel and patrol that and see if you can catch anything. Like, I just want a, just a scope of how big the Navy is. And if, if we're able to maintain that port, that uh, channel, we might, be actually, might actually be able to do another aerial air invasion because we have our fucking paratroopers right here. So I'm going to stick them right there. We'll be able to do an uh, air assault if we're able to maintain naval superiority in this region. Okay, air wings with no mission. We have like a bajillion fighters in the sky right now. Rubber from Brazil. Free dockyards. Really? Damn. Um. What kind of light cruisers? I'm making just what the hell? Let's upgrade these light cruisers so we're getting better ones. And. I guess we can make more submarines. It won't hurt. Let's make another army of about 30 submarines. Another navy. And we'll stick them in this port right here. Oh, in Genoa. Okay. That's fine. And these subs should be going out right now. Yep. And we'll see how far they get. They may be intercepted. If they are, then we'll know where the enemy navy lies. It's probably not in this region, but most most likely in like these regions up here. So I think that's what Britain's main focus is now, just to defend its coasts and to ensure that no uh, army or anything like that tries to fucking get all up in there and shit. Alright, almost there. There we go. Oh. <laughs> they lost a the naval bomber. Holy shit, wait, there's so much happening. Well, it doesn't seem like there's a navy there. Because we would have found it by now. And so that tells us that that's good for us. And they have superiority over this channel here, right? They have 2,700 fighters, 3,905 support planes, and 3,349 bombers. Yeah, they're just focusing everything they have in this channel here. Oh, what they don't, what they're not doing is focusing everything they have on the channels over here. So maybe... Maybe we could use this channel to uh, infiltrate northern England. Because look, wait, this is our, never mind. This blue stuff, I'm pretty sure that's our air coverage, right? The amount of detection we have? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a change of plan. We're not going to invade southern England. So let's move this navy out of here. Tell them to halt. So you guys can patrol these regions here. How many ships do you have left? What the fuck happened to the rest of them? <laughs> okay, I guess we only have six submarines left. I'm not sure where all, the, all of them went. That's weird. It didn't tell me that I lost that many, but okay. Um, we are upgrading our carriers. We don't need to worry about that. All we now need to worry about is doing invasions, doing naval invasions, and trying to keep the soldiers that are fucking, you know, going across the sea from dying from enemy aircraft. 
everything here is complete except for this and this uh I don't I don't I really don't know at this point what we can get I mean, we can keep upgrading our light cruisers and heavy cruisers and shit but at this point I don't think it's gonna be really all that helpful and how far can you guys go this fleet go can we do a patrol mission of this area Stop. Do a patrol mission in this area. Okay, so we actually have coverage. Wait. Yeah, we can go around. We don't even have to go into the uh, western approaches. Because I don't want this fleet to be attacked by enemy air. Before they get over here to this. To the North Sea, the Eastern North Sea, and the Baltic Sea. So. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to keep this fleet here for right now. Tell them to hold. I'm gonna wait for my bat. I'm gonna wait for my cruisers. Not the fucking god damn it. Wait for the carriers to come in, and then I'll put planes on there. On both of those carriers. And I just figured out how you get uh carrier fighters. Is you actually have to click it on the fucking thing. There we go. Now we should have carrier fighters. And those are just to defend the carriers from enemy fucking, you know, fighters. Is there anywhere close by? Soviets are using that. How about this? Okay. Go here. Go here. Go here. Air superiority over these regions. We should have air superiority. Oh, the enemy, the enemy's fighting back. Wait a minute. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Holy shit. Guys. Wait a minute. Do they have any fighters left in this region? They put them all over there. Well, it's now or never, I guess. Now we're fighting in the sky. I'm not sure how the production of planes is with the English is, though, so... I mean... Now that they're kind of worrying about that, let's bring our heavy fighters over here in southern England. Our fighters. Close air support. Some more close air support. Some more close air support. <laughs> I thought we had strategic bombers. What happened to them? They probably got blown up. Let's see. Where are... Where's another air base that we can put our planes in? There they are. I'll take them a little bit to get there. And air superiority. Do uh port strikes. Some more port strikes. You can do more port strikes, I guess. Yeah. Okay. How the fuck? We lost 39 close air support? God damn. Are we gonna fucking win this? We're losing subs. I think we actually lost all of our submarines. That's okay. It's alright. <laughs> all of our heavy fighters died. Is our paratroopers here yet? Because we might be able to drop in now. Come on. And get there, city. Who dares wins? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's, it doesn't even fucking matter at this point. Everything's going, going to shit now. 
Republic in Spain, you need to move your planes out of there so I can use that. Hmm. Well, all of our submarines died. What's this? They have 2,000... I don't know what kind of fighters these are, though. I'm guessing they're not jet fighters. Okay? I'm just taking a fucking wild guess here. I'm guessing they're not using jet fighters against me. Well, I'm guessing... Is they're they're using like these kind of fighters, like fighter threes to twos to ones, because that's a lot of fucking fighters. Now need strategic bombers to be able to destroy enemy infrastructure, and destroy their buildings and shit, so they can't land their fucking planes. <laughs> so you got yeah, there they are strategic bombers, good. Um. You know what? No, oh, land here. There we go. The bombers are going out. Some more port strikes. We lost a submarine. Oh no, they lost a submarine. That's good. Keep losing submarines. <laughs> oh, they lost a light cruiser. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. This is satisfying to watch. Oh man, we lost the support from submarines. That's pretty interesting. Well, long, well, their fighters are all over this place. That's good. At least we're occupying their fighters. While we're fucking dominating southern England over here. <laughs> okay. Some more strategic bombers. Don't mind if I do. What's this? Rain? Ah, it's okay. You may ask. Hey, Rubber Bisking, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to uh, destroy the English infrastructure completely down here in southern England. Because I know that's where most of their shit is, right? Because you can see where the most of the major cities are down here, right? And you look up here in, in Scotland, there's not a whole lot of major cities. There's like tiny, you know, victory points, but all in all, I think most of their shit's down here. You can see how many states they have up here compared to down here in southern England. Hmm. Maybe I should get some strategic bombers to go up to northern England. Let's see. How many fighters we have in here? Heavy fighters standing by because they lost miserably. It's like I'm losing miserably in the sky over here. We are maintaining our numbers, though. That's good. We don't have any resistance over here in southern England, so we're just bombing the shit out of southern England right now. <laughs> God damn. Oh, research slot. Okay, do we just research this? No, 30 more days. Okay. Uh, we'll get the next type of naval bomber. And once we do that, we'll get the carrier variants of that, and then we'll put them on the carriers. Are these carriers going to fucking build anytime soon? Come on, man. I need you. I need these carriers and these fucking light cruisers and shit. What's this? Well, we got two destroyers. So we're destroying the British fleet right now. That is, uh, that's great for us. Well, the, the British fleet that's in the ports. And we had submarines in the straits here, in the English Channel. And we had 
no resistance from any fleet. So it doesn't look like they're even remotely attempting to stop us with Navy at all. They're, they don't give a shit anymore. They stopped caring. <laughs> but that was a mistake. Nuke it all. Where's the air base? Can I see air bases? I can't see air bases, really. There's fucking nukes going everywhere, man. I don't know where the air bases are, so I guess just nuke everything. <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> Dear Lord. Nukes going out! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Jesus. England, are you okay, man? That had to suck. <laughs> oh man, that, that fucking sucks, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that had to happen to you, England. If I would have had it any other way, if I could have had it any other way, I would. Trust me. So, we're still occupying them up over here. Uh, I guess we can put some ships down here in the English Channel. I mean, I want to get across and invade now that I just fucking nuked this shit out of everything. Transport in over southern England guys have the greatest general known to Austria-Hungary Edward von Boom or er, er, Mali and do a pair drop from here to Dover I, I would drop right on it London but it doesn't have a port <laughs> wait maybe we can drop here and then attack well, that's probably the most heavily defended area right there, London. So, man, I don't fucking know. Let's drop one. Let's drop on Dover, right? Activate that shit. Troops are in the sky, fighting. Really? Holy shit, we're winning! Look, they had Marines. America's trying to, uh, trying to, trying to invade us. We might not actually win this engagement. Yep, we lost. Okay. So, do we have any more paratroopers? Nope. Because we decided that that wasn't necessary to make anymore. Okay. Um, I don't fucking know what to do anymore. Paratroopers died. Miserably. Still fighting him over here. How many, do we need to make this many? Hold on. I think we, we might be able to get rid of a production of infantry equipment. Yeah, let's get rid of one of these. Just, full, just completely get rid of it. Okay. We can make more of these. Add add another fighter mark ones there and then add another Kami Hulk thing going there and that should be pretty much it for our air production we're all making tactical bombers I'm not I'm not quite sure why we don't really need tactical bombers right now We do need more military factories, though. So, we need a bunch of synthetic oil refineries. But after that, we're going to get some military factories all up in this bitch right here. There. And someone's destroying our stuff, I guess, because we're kind of repairing a whole lot of crap. 
Oh, that's in Sardinia and Corsica and stuff because we nuked the shit out of them. We did nuke Dover. I'm pretty sure, so. We should have won that because we kind of fucking nuked them. Unless they had, like, cockroach hides, you know, and they survived the blast. I'm pretty goddamn sure that that fucking little army they had there wouldn't have been there. But hey, this game isn't ultra-realistic and doesn't claim to be. But I can't wait for 1950 where I can get these fucking jet strategic bombers. They could just have a completely jet air force. Rocket air force and shit. Uh, how good is anti-air? Like with infantry. I'm not sure. If somebody knows that, put that shit down in the comments how good that shit is. If that's, if that's like, really necessary for me to do. Since we can't fucking invade by air, we might as well try to do it by sea. And try to defeat the British in the sky. It looks like they're losing a little bit. They've, they came from 3,000 to 1,000. And it doesn't look like they have any planes anywhere else. So maybe we're winning. Maybe we are winning up here in the sky. I don't know. This is Battle for the Skies right now, ladies and gentlemen. And we're always fucking being depicted that we're losing, man. Come on. There we go. Oh. Son of a bitch. Who's this guy? Somebody shoot him down. Do we have our close air support still in the sky? Uh, yep, a thousand. Se Holy fuck. That's a lot of port strikes. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, what is the range of strategic bombers? I mean, they're coming from back here. So if I put some back here, will they also be able to reach? Because there's 2,000 available slots here. So I'm put strategic bombers there, then we'll put... I, mean, I have an overwhelming abundance of commie hawks. I could be using to defeat them up here, but I'm just going to let them reinforce the uh, commie hawks that are already there. And here's some naval bombers that we could use. Now, you know what, I'll just let the strategic bombers deploy, and I'll deploy them to... Can I reach Northern England? Holy shit, I can reach Northern England from here. God damn. And we just completed carrier fighters, finally. And now, we're going to go ahead and start producing some of them. Where are they at? There they are. Start producing some carrier fighters. Whenever our carriers decide to show up. Oh. We got a light cruiser. And we can't get the next jet fighter yet. Is there a doctrine? Something that can... No, never mind. Air doctrine. Here we are. So we're working on doing this right now, which is uh, the... Uh, What are the words I'm trying to say here? The effectiveness of our destruction, you know? I think we should we should get we should go for mass destruction, which is strategic bombing plus twenty percent. Because we can't it's gonna be really, really difficult to invade England, right? But if we maintain naval and air superiority over England completely, it's not gonna be that hard. Because then we'll be able to know exactly We'll be able to we'll be able to plan accordingly. We won't have to worry about our transports getting blown up or anything like that, because we did successfully invade Plymouth down here, right? And we got pretty far in, but supply issues made us let us be driven back. That's because we didn't have any naval superiority. I'm guessing to allow us to put our supplies in there, because. We had all of our planes going to southern England, but none to the English Channel, which the British were using as a way to cut off our supply. Now, I don't know how our planes got to the southern England without going through English Channel. 
you know, but hey, I'm not going to question the game's methods again. <laughs> Sick of doing that. Wow, st fucking strategic bombers. Go, go fucking, like, how far can they, can they go all the way up here too? They can't be, like, from back here, there's no way they'll go, go up to Scotland. Right? I don't fucking know. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> Who dares wins? So it's not available. Signal Company. Uh, I don't know if they're super useful, but I'm going to start researching it anyway because I don't know what else to research. Do you think I should um, put some more strategic bombers like up here? Wait, I have tactical bombers back here as well? And where is this? Can you reach up there to southern England? Yes, you can. Holy shit. Do that. Nice. How about that? <laughs> where, are these, where are these bombers coming from? From this one, right? No. What? I'm a little confused. It says v Württemberg, right? So where's that? That's pretty sure that's over here somewhere, right? I don't fucking know, man. I lost. I I'm losing. I'm losing it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That's a lot of strategic bombers. Oh, another port strike. They didn't lose anything. We lost three close air support. We have a million more though, so it's okay. Goodness. And they're still occupied over here with their fighters. Damn. They they're holding this shit. They they don't want us to get anywhere over here in the North Sea. They say, we don't even care about Southern England right now. We could totally fuck shit up with our 1,830-some fighters. Because they only have 715 down here. Now they have 2,000. Where the fuck are they getting all these fighters from? Oh. See, I, I got it. It's not the UK, you know. I mean, it is the UK. It has a lot of it. But fucking the United States over here has a constant supply of fighters coming in. That's why they have so many fighters, because the fucking US is helping them out. So in retrospect, we're never going to be able to gain air superiority, <laughs> because the US has like an even greater capacity to fucking field a larger air force than we do. That sucks. Well, well, the fucking more we destroy destroy England, the better. And it doesn't look, even though they are resupplying these guys, we're still holding them down, and we're weakening England consistently. Maybe, just maybe, now that they're occupied, I'm not going to go to the English Channel. We may be able to invade through the English Channel with our navy as soon as our navy becomes a little bit more powerful. And is there a way that we can put like anti-air guns on anything? Any of these? Because that would be really fucking helpful if we could. What's this? Sunk zero enemy ships. One assisted kill. Wow. Look at you, man. Okay. Logistics company. I don't know how good they are, but I'm going to get it anyway. The Soviet Union doesn't seem to be doing anything. Just dicking around as usual. Surrounding Afghanistan, scaring the shit out of the fucking Afghanis. We just got a fuckload of rubber from this region down here. Does that mean, does that mean we can stop trading so much rubber? <laughs> yeah, we don't even need to trade anymore. China's having a tough time. 
Are you fucking serious, China? Are you serious with that many troops? Are you serious? Wow. Okay. We'll put some close air support down there. Bring them down. When you get there, uh, I want you to do this region with that. Now I don't want these. Well, there's fucking strategic bombers down here, and heavy fighters. God damn it! Wait, did they take Taiwan? Nope, still belongs to Japan. If you fucking lose that, China, I'm telling you, man. You need to get your shit together. Somebody take this port. That's all you need to do is take this port. I'm going to make sure my shit's not being taken over. See, they're trying to attack them and all, but they can't. Because they're confused. And they have a lot of stuff. Oh, they didn't fucking invade. They just went through Hong Kong. Okay, they didn't do a naval invasion. They're just fucking attacking through a port that they already had, which should be son of a bitch. Why does this keep happening? Can anybody tell me why this keeps happening? Why the Soviet Union just is allowed to just keep taking Normandy? You leaving the ass for it back, dude? How's that fair? God damn it. That, that is mine. I don't want you to have that Soviet Union. That's fucking mine. I'll leave it alone. No more rockets standing by. I want to blow shit up. We watch them. We watch the rockets shoot again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're gonna blow up. They're gonna detonate. Oh, they're going to Norwich. And nope, they just stuck. That has to be one of the most disappointing things I've ever fucking seen. Creators of this game, if anyone happens to be watching, please fix that. Because that is not satisfying at all. That is really annoying to look at. Now it's fucking squares coming off of it. Damn. Oh. I just uh, pre-ordered No Man's Sky. Just yesterday. This shit's coming out I think August 9th. It's a pretty interesting game. You should go check it out. Um, I don't know if it's going to be good or not. It might not be. You know, I took a risk by pre-ordering it because I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be good. But I'm just going to take a chance and say it is. What's this? Expeditionary Force. Spain. Look, man, I don't want your troops because I don't feel like dealing with your troops. Para? Wait, where the fuck are these guys? What the fuck? What are you guys doing? Oh! Oh, that's right! You guys can fucking... Oh, you can't. You can't do a paradrop because we don't... We we're, we can't fucking access this airbase. The only one we can access is all the way up here. What the fuck is that shit? Wait, maybe we can ask him control of this state. Cool, now we can access this? Yeah. Alright, put some transports here. 100's fine, we don't really need a whole lot. Put some fighters. About 200 fighters and some tactical bombers as well. Okay. When they all get there, we'll 
put him on a mission to fly over Ceylon, and we'll take that over. It's giving England a lot of rubber. And I don't want that. I don't want England to have any rubber at all. And then, actually, we're going to put some strategic bombers here, because we're going to nuke this place as well. To soften up the, the groups in there. Soften up the divisions that decided to stay there. Who are these guys? Who the fuck are you? Where are you coming from? West Bengal? To... Oh, you've... Are you serious? These guys are connected to southern India? And these strategic bombers are flying all the way across the sea to get here. Okay. That's cool. How long is it going to take? Oh, you're already there. Cool. Now, to uh, paratrop from this here to here. Don't carry that out yet. Wait for it to get nuked. Skadoosh. I'm going to give you guys the greatest general on the planet. You can... Do that para drop if you'd like. Come on. There you go. We win. <laughs> okay, let's take this as fast as possible so we don't... In order to uh, prevent ourselves from being destroyed. Get out of here. Look, guys, they're trying to stop us. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Damn, how long is it going to take? Fuck, man. This is why this is why we lose, because everyone's too lazy. Look at this. You got to be shitting me. Take your good old time. You going to do it? There it is. Oh, wait, we have some resistance. That's okay. Hold off. A little bit of troops there. Don't mind if I nuke them. That's fine. Skadoosh. Okay, attack. <laughs> Take them out. Mm-hmm. You guys can hear that train. It's, it's, it's making noises. That should be the end, really. For this little island down here. Yep. That's it. We got some factories from it. A single civilian factory that's damaged. That we have to repair because we're stupid. And then... <laughs> And that, uh, <laughs> look at this fucking, look at this fort here. I mean, look at this, uh, coastal fort. It's broken. That's cool. I didn't know they actually did, that. they made that happen. You know, when it breaks in the game, it actually appears broken on the map. That's cool. See, guys, even though some of the shit that, you know, this game tries to pull on me is kind of weird. It ain't a bad game. It's pretty it's pretty good. It's a pretty good game. And now we can invade the Maldives. Or Maldives. Do they have any valuable resources? Nah, we don't need to invade that. It's zero unlock slots anyway, so. Pretty pointless to invade that. Not to say the Maldives are pointless. You know. But anyway, I gotta pause it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we made some 
okay progress. We established the fact that now we kind of have air superiority over England. And we're always going to have superiority now because it seems like they're just constantly trying to stop us from attacking the North Sea. Why? Maybe they're trying to protect their flank. Or maybe they're just stupid. I don't know. But uh, we're d bombarding the shit out of southern England and northern England. And only making Scotland and Northern Ireland useful. Which I think has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5... 5 whole states they have at their disposal. So... And the rest is getting kind of destroyed. The only thing that's really keeping the UK alive, I think, is the United States at this point. I do have this, but that doesn't really matter. Do they have any valuable resources over there? Nope. The US has a fuckload of stuff. But anyway, that's all for today. Kind of ran on a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. Thank you all these gentlemen so much for watching. Hope you had a fucking great and fantastic time watching this. Hope you have a great and beautiful day. Peace.